Hey, welcome back to AW Trading Cards. Like I said, what we would do is do something a little bit different once in a while. Um, today, we are going forth and looking at these um, dollar store ones from Pristine again. Um, these are $1.25 here in Canada. Um, they're Pokemon cards. I have no idea too much about the values of Pokemon or what you get in the Pokemon pack or what you get in these repacks. That's why the reason for today's video is to learn what we can get for $1.25 at the Dollarama store. If you can tell me a little bit more information about some of these cards in here, um, in the comments below, that would be most appreciated. I know there's reverse foils and rares, uncommons, and whatever in these packs, but I have, for $1.25, I'm not expecting a lot of good stuff or anything along those lines out of these but we're, I think we're just gonna get common cards that looks like a common card same with that one I don't I'm not 100% sure like if you look at what's here and it I'm beginning to think they're all commons because of the color they're all black but maybe I'm wrong maybe it's a symbol beside them I can't remember what these mean what the different cards are. Um, somebody wants to give me a heads up on what the different symbols mean, what the letters mean, numbers, because there's different symbols on most of them. Looks like all four different sets. Um, the little star, circle, diamond, I can't remember. But that's the first four open. No reverse uh, foils in there, no foils, no anything special that I could see. I could be wrong. If somebody wants to point out what I did wrong with that video, what what I did wrong with that pick, um, we'll have to see. I'm not expecting anything spectacular out of these. But the cards themselves are in present pretty good shape. They look like brand new cards. I mean, you get from Dollarama and that sort of thing, like, I don't see a lot of wear and tear on any of these cards. Yeah, there's a little bit of wear on that one card, but the other ones look fine. So, so the one, this one here, is the only one that's actually got some wear, played with the wear on it. Um, so, as you can see, here's all our goodies. I think that one's good. No, that's black, black. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. There's package number two. Let's see what we can package number three here. So we're opening up five packs of these goodies. I haven't seen anything that jumps out saying, hey, look, it's something special. Like even that one doesn't look um Hakamoto. Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce all these. I have no idea how to pronounce these cards. Um, I don't play Pokemon. I've played Magic. Um, I've played Pokemon Go. But even these creatures here, I haven't seen much in Pokemon Go and that sort of aspects of it either. But it looks like you get basically one of each color. In these lots, um, I don't think you get any rares or that sense. So, is it worth buying these if you're looking for something special or looking for certain cards? Uh, if you're a collector just looking for fillers for making up your decks for Pokemon, maybe it might be a good idea to pick these up. Uh, as it stands right now, it's not looking that way to have really decent cards but maybe I'm wrong I don't play Pokemon so I don't know what these cards are all about oops I dropped it again yeah. okay he's a Squirtle I know him but he's still as far as I know he's a common as well you look at the numbers and look at the symbols I guess it's it's not too bad but 
Sharpedo. Sharpedo? Yeah, well, actually, this one had two blues, a white, and a yellow. But I'm looking for Pikachu. I doubt I'll find them in these packs, but I'm always looking for a Pikachu card. I think in the near future, on our website that we have, we sell magic cards through our trading website, uh, AW Trading Cards. It's, it will be in the description below. Um, but we seem to... We're gonna, I think we're going to start selling Pokemon cards as well on top of it. Um, but that'll come in the new year probably. Um, but any of the cards that you see here will probably be, be up on that site uh, in the near future. Um, yeah, so in this one we, had, we actually got a trainer. It was the first trainer out of the five packs. Um... Got no energy, no stadiums, or anything along those lines, but we have a trainer, a fairy garden. Each Pokemon that has any energy attached to it, both yours and opponents, has no retreat cost. What that means, I don't know. I've never played a game of Pokemon um, card game anyway, so I'm not 100% sure about any of these cards. But as it stands, these are what's on the top, at least what was on the top of the packs that I opened. I know there's some variations of these as well and they, out there. Um, but you get four trading cards. Seems to be all common cards. I didn't see any special colors or anything, special symbols, but maybe I'm wrong. With the symbols on how I read them, um, maybe I'm thinking back of World of Warcraft where there's purple colors and that's sort of thing down the bottoms. So maybe the different symbols mean different things on these cards. If somebody wants to give me heads up on how to read a Pokemon card, or maybe I should do some research on my own uh, before I do my next video like this and I don't look <laughs> sound like a rambling idiot and not knowing anything in regards to what you get in a pack of Pokemon cards. But... As it stands right now, this is what we got in our packs. Uh, 20 Pokemon cards here. Maybe I'll post them up online in the next week or so. Maybe a little later. Um, but for sure in the new year, I'll be adding the Pokemon cards that I've opened in the past. Plus these ones on our website. Uh, once I figure out how to read them. And how to go forth and figure out what set they were from. Because I know there's so many sets, just like Magic, there are quite a few different sets out there of these cards. But uh, this is what you get. I wouldn't recommend buying these at all. But maybe I'm wrong. Prove that I did something right by buying these. Tell me that I did it right and not have to worry about it. Off to the next video. If you like this one, feel free to subscribe. If not, come back for another video another day. Bye for now.